Hi guys, in today's video we're going to look at creating a React app with Roots and deploying it to GitHub Pages. So to start with I've got this app which I've created using npx create react app. Um, I'm just running it on localhost 3000. Um, so to start with we're just going to install all the um, packages we need. So there's three main packages we need. React Router, uh, React Router DOM and gh hyphen pages which is the package you need for github pages so just run this in the terminal install these packages right so that's installed uh, next step is to just create some pages so we're just going to create home page. Just going to create a stateless component, functional component. Just put it all in a folder. Right, next step, we need to import these pages. So let's go into our main app.js file. Let's just get rid of all this stuff which uh, all this default code. Just gonna add a React fragment to keep all our pages in. So first thing I'm gonna do, gonna create a navigation. and we're going to need to create a link to these pages so we're going to use the link component from react root dom So the first one, the path is just a slash, that takes us to home. Quite well for contact. And about. So after you put that in, it's starting to complain. So you shouldn't use the link outside the router. So the reason behind that is because um, you have to wrap the whole application in the in one of the routers which um, 
React Router provides. So in our case, we're going to use a hash router. Let's add that here. And we'll go back to our app. You can see it's working. And if you click on these, you can see our route is updated, but with a hash. Now, the reason we're using hash router is because um, GitHub Pages doesn't actually support the, um, the HTML5 history API which is uh, what, what is needed if you want to use the other router, which is browser router, which comes with uh, React Router DOM. So for now, we just stick stick with uh, this hash router. Um, so we've got our navigation in place. Next step is to add a switch component. So we can pull this off the React Router DOM. And this is what we'll be using to switch out the different pages. So. So within each of the, for each of the pages, we're going to wrap it in a component called root. And what this does is um, it's used by the, <coughs> oh, pardon me, it's used by the um, React Router DOM to uh, work out what page it needs to display. So basically, we're saying this find exact match path called slash so if, if the path is exactly a slash then we're going to display this page so here we're obviously going to be home and then we're going to do the same for the other routes let's do contact and about Right, so you can see it's being updated. So contact page, home page, sorry, about page, home page. See that's all working correctly. So the next step we want to do is we want to deploy this. So let's just go to GitHub and let's create a repository. First thing is to make sure it's public. So we have to, uh, GitHub page can only be used with public repositories. I'm gonna name mine yt-react-gh-pages. Just gonna create a repository. So uh, we've got a, I've got a, um, a repository already locally. So I'm just gonna add my local repository to the remote repository we've just created. So what I've just done there is I've just checked in my code, which I've just created. All right, next step, um, what you actually need to do is within our package.json, I need to put in um, this URL 
which is basically telling us where uh, where we need to go to go to the root of um, our new GitHub pages, which we're going to create. And we need to add two scripts. to um, the uh, package.json scripts, which is already there. So one of them is a deploy script. And the other is a pre-deploy script. And to get this stuff to deploy, all of this com stuff to deploy, we run yarn deploy. Right, so that's done. So now if we go to this URL, it's not quite there yet. So I've just left my, uh, my application for a bit and I've just come back to it. And I've just checked the URL So if I go to view deployment, you can see it has deployed. So just show you the URL here. It's home, about, and contact. So I think because it was the first time I've deployed it, um, it just took a while for um, GitHub pages to register the application. Um, so if you go to if if I go to my repository here. You can see on the side there's a little environment section and there's a GitHub pages link here. And if you look in your branches as well, you should see a gh hyphen pages. And this is where when you run um, yarn deploy, this is where the code is pushed to. So now we know deployment's working, let's just make some style changes and then see if we can redeploy. So first thing I'm going to do is add styled components. And in our app, I'm just going to import styled from styled components. And um, there's two styles I'm going to create. One is the style up, style up this nav element. And the other is to target a link. Place that here. Uh, let's just give it border radius three px. Border background
Right. And <clears throat> let's target the Euro and allies using this nav styles. So say so for our UL, say margin 20px zero padding zero remove the bullets and then let's display inline block on the allies so we have everything in line there we go so I'm just going to commit these changes Start components. Gonna push it. So after that pushed, you can see here nothing happening at the moment. So this is the deployments log for um, our GitHub pages. And I'm just gonna get do yarn deploy. To refresh this <clears throat> you can see it's just deployed so we just refresh this and our GitHub page is live. Is it changing? <clears throat> 